All right, it is Friday time for movies. We got to check those out. He watches the bad ones so that you don't have to. Welcome our film critic Richard Roper. That's what I'm here for guys. <laughs> Somebody's got to do the dirty work. Yeah, and I have heard a ton oh, about this first too. one. Based on true events, a 500-pound bear consumes a large amount of cocaine and goes on a drug-fueled rampage in Georgia. Here's a look at Cocaine Bear. Millions of dollars worth of cocaine fell from the sky this morning in Knoxville, Tennessee. There's more of this out there. They dumped it somewhere. I'm looking for my daughter. The forest is a dangerous place. Hey, Henry, check it out. Something got into it. A deer, maybe. No, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. Let's see what kind of effect that has on us. This yeah. looks wild, Rich. Yeah. yeah, you know, not since Snakes on a Plane has a movie been described <laughs> so well in the title. This actually has been, guys, let me walk you through okay. this true story stuff. In 1985, drug smuggler throws a bunch of bags of coke out of a plane. He jumps out of the plane and dies. Bear comes across some of the coke, ingests it, and dies. That's the true part of this of this story. In the movie, the bear just keeps wanting more and more cocaine. It's like the shark in Jaws can't be stuck. So the rest of the movie is pure fiction. It's very dark. It's very kind of you know wickedly funny. But you saw the the cast: Isaiah Whitlock, Margot Martindale, Kerry Russell. It's got kind of an A-list cast having a blast in a B movie. And that's one of the few clips we could actually show the Windy mm. City Weekend audience because a lot of times you know. Certain body parts are separated from their owners, oh. if you will. You know, there's a lot of what we call grizzly, even though it's a black bear, grizzly kills in this movie as well. <laughs> yeah, is it true right. that Charlie Sheen auditioned for the bear? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Too soon. Oh, oh. Ryan. <laughs> he would have made by the way, joke. By the way, no bears were harmed. In the That's a pure <laughs> CGI bear, by the way, there. No bears were harmed uh, in the making of this movie. Dark yes. and wickedly funny. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I much, check like, it out. much like Ryan himself. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, next up, a new Netflix film about a family that becomes internet famous after discovering their home is haunted by a friendly ghost played by David Harbour. Uh, did I say that right? Harbour. Harbour. Mm -hmm. Take a look at We Have a Ghost. Nightmare. We have a ghost. Okay. No, I'm serious. Kevin caught him on camera. Oh, we gotta show mom. No, 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 no. <laughs> the entire world is captivated with Ernest. Three million views in six minutes. That's money. <laughs> Our whole street's kind of bad, thanks to you guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> all right, Rich, what are we doing here? Spending or saving? This is a spend. Uh, I have to say, first of all, this Netflix movie, it's set in Chicago but filmed in Louisiana. I've never seen a movie what? set in Chicago that looked less like we have mountains now suddenly. <laughs> we have all that kind of southern foliage. Uh, but, but it's still kind of fun. It's a ghost movie, but it's mostly a comedy. And this also, the title kind of tells you. We have a ghost. The fun thing here is that everybody can actually see the ghost. The ghost goes viral, and then there's a bunch of other fun comedic stuff. And there's kind of a sweet family story there with Anthony Mackie. Again, a really good cast in kind of, I don't want to say lesser material, but, you know, right. this is not Oscar contending stuff we're talking right. about. Well, Did, maybe is it, it was the first one, right? So we got one that's like wildly kind of gross, and then this one. This one you like... could actually watch, except for really younger kids, because yeah. the ghost isn't very scary here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, the popular sitcom party, Down, is making a return. It's about a group of Hollywood wannabes who met while working at an LA catering company. Rich, is this spend or a save? This is a spend. This was a series that was on Stars about 12 years ago. It was kind of a cult hit, and everybody on that series went on to do bigger things. Jane Lynch went on to Glee. Adam Scott did Parks and Rec. All, Paul Rudd is one of the creators of this. So it's kind of cool. They got everybody back, and they pick up the characters like 13 years later. Really, really funny. One of my favorite new reboots of the year. All right. Mm, all right. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.